Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. I'm going to show you a few things. Um, just to give you guys some examples of some things that you can do. Uh, I get more often than not uh, messages about you guys, just some of you guys just starting out in mixed media or art journaling. And uh, you don't have a lot of money. You don't want to go out and spend a lot of money. So I'm going to show you a few things, just a few tips to get started just so you can start building a little bit of a, you know, a little stash for your mixed media or your art journaling or whatever. So let me show you these. Right, let me just put this page here. All right. I cut this in half. It is blurry. It is a, uh, you get it in your scrapbook section where they send, they sell these scrapbook paper. Um, they come, I have this in so many different styles. This happens to be butterflies. You can get them in circles, hearts, just all these different, uh, different shapes and whatnot. And what I use them for, because I don't scrapbook, is I use them for stencils. Uh, as you can see, you know, you can, you can cut it. I cut this in half because I'm going to be throwing this half into a giveaway. Um, when I do the next giveaway, you know, it's very light and can be, uh, sent. I might cut it in half so I can do two different, add them in two different packages, but it's all it is. It's paper. Now with paper, as you know, um, it can get a bit wet and a mush and mush and rip and all that kind of thing. So you can do several things. I've talked about this before. Uh, the more you use paint, this is acrylic paint I used on it. So the more you use the paint, um, and remember, you can do use this side as well um, and put paint so it goes on both sides. It'll get much sturdier and water resistant. Um, you can take a, a gloss uh, Mod Podge or Collage Podge or you can take your, or, or Elmer's School Glue for that matter. You can take your gesso, your gel medium, whatever you have uh, and paint a coat on this front and then let that dry and then turn it to the back and do the back side and it'll last a heck of a lot longer. Um, but you can get these sometimes for 49 cents on clearance, especially, uh, you know, you can use these as I'm trying to think I lost all train of thought. You can use these as the stencils. You can use them as masks. As you can see, there's a uh, very, uh, you know, they're not cut out kind of things. So this is a really great alternative to uh, starting out with mixed media, art journaling, what have you, um, to get some stencils. I like to call them faux stencils um, and, and you know, use them. So I'm going to be throwing those in a the giveaway. These I got in a random act of kindness, though I have a bunch, not these uh, stencils, but I have these uh, stencils from Plaid. These are from Delta Creative and they are uh, Plaid. Uh, stencils. So when you go into the dollar store, they sometimes have these. When you go into your art stores, if you go into the plaid section where they do t-shirts and all, uh, you can find really great deals on um, stencils there. I get a lot of my stencils in that section, as well as you can go into the section where all the stencils are and, and uh, rubber stamps, and you can pick these up so inexpensively. So that's another thing that um, you can do. Now, show you a few other things here. I've been uh, very blessed. Let's get this cleared up. <coughs> to have gifted me, to me a uh, scan and cut. I love it, love it, love it. But I got these from um, a random act of kindness that I was sent, and I can't recall. Uh, who sent them to me and I, it was just recently and I'm so sorry. I totally cannot think. Um, anyway, but this is just, uh, a thin paper, like plastic that you get. I thought I had the other stuff sitting here, not, um, that you can get in a packaging, whether it be for food or crafts or, uh, whatever. And then you can sit with your exacto knife and cut them cut out different, you know, you can draw them or cut them. You can do circles. You can do whatever you want. Uh, it's good to save these little plastic things because you, again, you can use them and make your own, uh, stencils. And that is, you know, fun and such a money saver. Um, the earth am I doing here? Okay. So <clears throat> the next thing are these leaves that I talked about in, um, my other 
video with the beginners of the mixed media canvas that we're doing with the with the nice little girl that we're doing. Um, these you get at the dollar store. You can also use them as, let me pick one that I'm not gonna use. I'll pick a big one right now. You can also use these as texture and let me show you. That's why I had the paper here. All right, let me just lay my paper here. Oh my goodness, sticky, sticky. Scrub my kitchen down this morning because I'm, I'm getting a little tired. All right, so I'm just gonna take this crappy distressed thing here and you can use your you can use your uh, paintbrush, you can use your cosmetic makeup sponge, get those all at the dollar store, cotton ball, whatever you have. But I'm just gonna real quick throw some paint on here, use your stamp pad, whatever you have. And I'm just gonna, just to show you. You see we got the paint on it, and then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna press it, and then lift it up. Now look how awesome. That's from the dollar store, and you have the print, and you're, that, that's texture right there. That's right on your mixed media. I'm going to actually use this on my uh, mixed media painting, but I wanted to kind of show you guys. So I'm going to do the back side now. And I'm just squeezing a little bit. Again, use watercolor, use acrylic paint, use whatever you have. All right. And I'm just doing a little part of it. You can do it, obviously, as big as you want it. I'm just trying to show you guys. And look, as I was doing it, I got another print. It kind of looks feathery. And then this is why I walk around with paint on my hands all the time. And then push it down and you get a different look. Look at that. And then look at that. All right, this is a silk flower from the dollar store. And you know, you get a big old thing of flowers. And this will get uh, you know, a little stiffer and all as you continue to use it, but it's no big deal. I mean, you can use anything. So you got this great stamp. And I'm also gonna throw I'm having a giveaway coming up again because I like to wait until my person, the person who wins my big giveaway or any giveaway at that time uh, before I like to do another giveaway. I like to, for them to have it already. Um, but I'm going to do like a little care, just a small, small care package of a few things. And I'm going to throw this, not this specific one, but the leaf in it because, I mean, look at that great texture. And that's, I mean, how many of us, let's be honest, have dried flowers sitting around somewhere? And like I said, you go into the dollar store, you're going to look at everything differently. I have more flowers I'm going to pull out and show you and use in my uh, mixed media, but that is uh, irrelevant. So, so that's that. So that, you know, that's kind of where we're going to start there. Also, what did I do with it? I tell you what, I had these things planned. I had everything sitting here and then I got on to clean in my kitchen. Does anybody ever walk into their kitchen and you think to yourself, you know what? I think I'm going to clean today. And you start getting out the bleach and the clean and here we go. All right. So something else I want to show you. This is for my uh, pepper grinder, salt grinder, whatever you have. You see, it's just a lid. Now, I want to show you guys because so many of us have things sitting around the house. I've done a million videos on things that you can use around the house. But I just want to, There's we got some new people and, you know, I just want to show you. So I'm going to use this. You can use anything, your acrylic paint, your watercolor paint again. And I'm just going to pop this like this. Here we go. Here we go. All right. And you can see, and then I'm going to plop it down and you got yourself a what circle. Yes, you do. Now, you know, you can do whatever color or whatever you want. Now I can do this side too, and you can do it half. The circle, you could do whole the circle, whole the yeah, circle whole. So you push it down, and it just gives you that texture that you're looking for. Or we can do the whole thing. Okay, one second, and then I'm just gonna push it. Now look, it's it has MC on it because obviously it's McCormick, but it don't matter. It just adds some really cool texture. Look at that! I got a texture page. How fun! Again. You can wipe this off or just leave it dry and continue doing your gig on it, you know, but look, it comes right off. No big deal. All right. So that's really a fantastic thing. Now, when you go to your dollar store, for instance, grab those sponges, any type of sponge, cut them into shapes, cut them into pieces, and you can do the same kind of thing and just give you a nice cool uh, thing. Now, this bad boy. This is a, it's from Fiskars, and I believe I was gifted this for a random act of kindness. I'm thinking a while back. I think Michelle uh, gifted me this. So 
what this is, and I'm going to find one of these and um, send it out in a giveaway as well. Uh, let me know down below if you would want this in a giveaway. And let me show you what it does. And if I can't find it, I will send this one. Um, but I'm going to find it because I really dig this. But, you know, All right, I'm going to turn my paper over. So as you can see, we have ends. They're called deckled, whatever. But you have all these different ends. You have a, a straight edge. See, you have that edge, that edge, and that edge. So when you go to tear something, let me see, let me say, let me find some paper here, please. All right, let me just use this right here. So I'm just going to cut a little bit of it. So you lay this down, right? And let's say we want this deckled edge. If my, do you want to get with the program camera? All right. Then. And you lay it down and you take your paper and you got to hold this down. And then you want to pull towards it and you can see how you get really good. Look at that texture. Now this paper isn't the best paper, but it, it works. Now, if we do this piece, I'll lay this down. Right. And I'm just going to hold it down and I'm going to take my paper and tear it towards it. And you get another edge. Now, I love the papers when you rip them and you get this little white deliciousness because um, I don't know if it's called core, like paper that has that paper in there. If you guys know, let me know down below, please. But I love this. So now we have this great little, you know, and you can do it on whole pages and everything. And you have the straight edge so you can cut and then you have three different sides. Now, one thing I really love and... Um, Oh, I have all these ideas in my head and I, I just don't want to overwhelm everybody because I know that a lot of you are just starting out. Um, let me find, do I have a pencil? Kelly, where is all the pencils? What? Okay, I'm just going to use my little Bic here. This is just my little mechanical pencil. I love them. So let's pretend. So we're going to take this and so many of you have problems with doing the heads for the folk art, right? I got it. I woke up this morning to a few uh, comments to that circle and then you go in and you can divide it you know I like to divide it and do your eyes your nose your mouth and then you can go in right and then you can do your eyes accordingly right and I'm just gonna play there for a second okay and then you got your you know your mouth your and you have your face and then you can play and do your eye, you know, your eyes. And you have that wonderful round uh, face to then go on with your folk art doll. Now, this is what I love. There's the oval. What can we do with an oval? Yeah, make a face. It's like your upside down egg. Very lightly. And look. And of course, you have the star and the square. I mean, you can just play, play, play. And then here we are again where we're going to just take it down and do, you know, your, your gig. And then your line down the center. You know, I don't do great lines, straight lines. And then you just kind of do your little face and your little mouth. And then you have your face. So this is where you can start uh, using that. And I think I'm going to make, um, I think I'm going to make and throw in giveaways as well. For those who are interested, I'll make sure I ask before I send them. But um, I, I might do the circle and the oval, and I might just edit this just a little bit because you really want this to be. This is great to do, and, and you can totally do this. I mean, you can play around with the shapes and the hair and all that kind of thing. But I like this down here just a little bit. So I'll just take it down to that line, right? And then erase that off. But I might just make the egg shape upside down and send that as well as a little stencil. For, there we go, for everybody to, uh, you know, for whoever to have just as their guide, you know? So that is a really great thing to have as well as, like I said, I have my little uh, circle thing for the eyes and all if you want to play around and uh, it's just a lot of fun, you know? I also, from the dollar store, a funnel a funnel and you can see it's well loved and used and you have the two different holes. So when you go, just look at things a lot differently at the dollar store. Look at things a lot differently in your kitchen. When you throw in something away, um, look at it and think, what can I do with this? 
uh, there's so many wonderful things. So I just wanted to do a real quick of things of uh, mixed media that you can use from at home things. I've done videos on this prior to show you guys, um, you know, a, a more in depth, like, you know, here's my corrugated cardboard uh, that if you take cardboard and you, you know, rip the one papers off, you get corrugated or you can cut it with your decorative scissors. You can do whatever you want. You can use it as your uh, scraper, you know, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So I hope that you guys learned a few things in this. Like I said, let me know down below about if you guys would like, uh, you know, the circle and the oval face. Uh, and I know that seems so... What the heck is that noise? I know that seems so... Uh, not in, I don't want to say not important, but it's not a big deal. But I know for a lot of you that you guys have issues with trying to draw and, and having the circle and having... Some people need that... Uh, circle or oval to know where for the way their brain works, where the eyes and everything, you know, goes and all that. So just let me know what you guys think. I love, I, I love, uh, drawing is one of my favorite things to do because you can just really go all out and make things look so differently and, and blend better. So I think that's all. I just want to show you guys, uh, a different way to do things. Um, I'm so thrilled that so many people are going to do this mixed media, uh, canvas such a you know thing with me i'm thrilled to death and uh i can't wait to see what you guys do and as always be kind to each other you never know about somebody else is fighting you guys all rock i love you guys so very much and um i will see you again later bye guys